This is Cleopatra, the fabulous queen of the Nile. Fate has decreed that the mighty leader of the Roman Empire and Cleopatra should be flung together into the melting pot of history. <laughs> was Mark Antony, Julius Caesar's greatest friend. What a country. The simple people of Cochium continued with their very simple lives. There's no prettier sight than a young couple courting. Oh, oh it makes you feel you want to get your club out and have a bash yourself. <laughs> What's that settlement down there? We call it Cochium in Cornovii, General. What a mouthful. They deserve to be done with a name like that. It's hard work catching these damn Britons. All right, on your way. All right. But don't give up hope, men. Remember, Hengis is on his way to our army. Oh, 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 I do feel queer. Oh, it's good, yes, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> A pretty little thing. Where did we capture her? At the settlement they call Bristol, sir. Oh, yes, I might have guessed. <laughs> Hello. This doesn't sound so good. There is news from Egypt that Ptolemy is trying to usurp Cleopatra. Trying to do what with her? Usurp her. Sounds positively revolting. Two months later, after an absence of three years, Caesar made a triumphant return to Rome. I want to thank you for this wonderful welcome. Every time I return from an expedition, I am struck. Again and again. That's it. Come on. Man. Just take it in your hand. It won't bite. <laughs> That's it. Now, dip it in the ink. Oh, hello. I know you, Julius Caesar. You do anything rather than stay at home with me? Well, you won't be here much longer for me to worry about. What do you mean by that? Beware the Ides of March! Oh, shut up, you silly old faggot. By now, the captives from Britain had arrived in Rome. All right, 160. Providing you throw her in. She's a very good worker. She can uh, cook, make clothes, wash, Scrub? That's fine. I could use a good scrubber. I must warn you, Julius. There is unrest in the Senate. There have been rumblings. You, it's all that spaghetti they eat, you know. I told against you. What are you doing with your thing? I'm sorry, sir, but for the good of Rome, you must die. Treachery! Infamy! Infamy! They've all got it in for me. Did you say, Julius? Good night. Good night. At this time, Mark Antony was arriving at Alexandria at the head of another Roman legion. All right, I'll come straight to the point, Miss I, You. Yes? Oh, very well. But I wish you hadn't asked me to slay him, though. Why not? Well, I'm his cousin. I can't do it, can I? I'm his friend. And don't have anything to do with those Eastern women. I've heard a lot of funny stories about them. I've told you it's a purely business... Tr Really? What sort of story? Well, there was this Eastern Dutton. Never mind that! What's this? They call that a banana. The funny is not a taste, is it? You're supposed to take the inside out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Much better. Having arrived safely at Alexandria, Mark Antony hurried ahead to the palace for his early morning cup of tea. He was too late. Cleopatra had hogged all the milk. What? There must be some way we can get rid of him. I have a poisonous ass. Oh, I wouldn't say that. And that's where you come in. Where have I been to, then? You haven't been anywhere. You're there. Get Caesar alone. Oh, that's what he's come for, money. Alone, on his Todd, by himself. Oh, you should have said. Cleopatra, when do we meet her? <gasps> Going to lay an egg. No, no, no. He means at cock crow. What cock? The morning one or the evening one? Oh. Evening cock. Thanks, cock. I'll be ready. Oh, Arabe. I believe they're intense lovers. Well, naturally. They do everything in tents. Ah! <laughs> tents.
And so it was that Caesar's life had been saved for the third time. He was able to sail home to Europe from Africa without having been stabbed, poisoned, choked, or married. Perforated! Oh! Et tu, Brute! Let me just say these last words to you. Friends, Romans, countrymen. I know. Oh, what's the use? Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere.